Welcome to my Mysterious Universe channel. Are you ready to explore the mysteries of Stovall Mountain and the controversial artifacts found there? In this video, we'll dive into the fascinating story of Professor Joja Whitney's discoveries and the heated debates that ensued among scientists about their authenticity and age. From the infamous Calavera skull to the enigmatic pestle and mortar, we'll examine the evidence and theories surrounding these artifacts and try to uncover the truth behind their origins. Join us on this journey into the past and discover the secrets of Stovall Mountain. In the depths of Table Mountain in the American state of California, as well as other mountains in the Sierra Nevada range, hundreds of anomalous artifacts were discovered in the 19th century. These were man-made objects found in ancient layers that date back tens of millions of years. In the mid-1800s, miners found hundreds of stone artifacts and human skeletons deep within the mountain tunnels of Sierra Nevada, California, while mining for gold. These bones and artifacts were found in geological layers dating back to the Eocene period, which was around 33 to 55 million years ago. Dr. J.D. Whitney, the chief government geologist of California, reported these findings to the scientific community in his book, The Auriferous Gravels of the Sierra Nevada of California, published by Harvard University's Peabody Museum in 1880. However, his work did not receive much attention from serious scientists at the time because his dating conflicted with all theories about human origins. The discovery of gold in ancient river beds in the Sierra Nevada area in 1849 led to a gold rush in California. While some chose the easier path of gold panning, others began tunneling into the mountain slopes, creating long tunnels inside the mountains. Soon, the tunnelers started discovering various objects that appeared to be embedded in ancient rock formations. Occasionally, they also found human skeletons, although there were far fewer of these than artifacts, which numbered in the hundreds. Whitney learned about these finds through rumors, and they greatly intrigued him. However, he dismissed many of the artifacts found in surface deposits or during hydrological work as dubious, since it was impossible to accurately determine their age. The objects found in the deeper tunnels, however, could be dated with greater precision. Whitney calculated that the layers in which they were found dated back to at least the Pliocene period, which would put them at 5.3 to 2.5 million years old. This was already too old for man-made tools in America, but later geologists concluded that many of the layers in Whitney's area actually dated back to the Eocene period, which would put them at 55 to 33 million years old. Many of the tunnels that Whitney visited were located in the so-called Stem Hill, which is located in the Tulum County of California. Here, to reach the gold-bearing layers, one had to break through thick layers of basaltic volcanic rock called latite. This latite cap was dated by geologists to the Eocene period, and many of the mining tunnels where artifacts were found passed hundreds of feet below the cap. This means that the actual dating of man-made artifacts may be even older. The most famous discovery made by Whitney is the so-called Calaveras skull, which was found by a miner at a depth of 130 feet. When the skull came into Whitney's hands, he declared it genuine and concluded that it came from the Pliocene epoch 5.3 to 1.8 million years ago. However, other researchers quickly criticized his decision, believing that the skull was at most 1,000 years old. Later, reports emerged that the skull was a deliberate forgery created by miners to play a joke on the scientist. Among the inappropriate artifacts of Stem Hill, one can also mention a pestle in a rounded mortar. They were discovered in 1877 by a certain J. Hill in a tunnel under the Latite cap, and were also dated to the Eocene epoch, 33 to 55 million years ago, William B. Holmes, an anthropologist from the Smithsonian Institution, commented on Whitney's book, If Professor Whitney had fully appreciated the significance of human evolution in the way that it is understood today, he would not have dared to publish his formulated conclusions in spite of the impressive array of evidence which he encountered. In other words, if the evidence did not match the theory, it should have been set aside and no longer discussed which is what happened to Whitney's findings. Today, some of the artifacts mentioned by Whitney are still in the Phoebe Hearst Museum of Anthropology at the University of California, Berkeley. However, they are not of any particular interest. In conclusion, the mystery of the Calaveras skull and the artifacts found in the Table Mountain region of California remains unsolved. 
Despite the controversy surrounding the authenticity and dating of these artifacts, they continue to fascinate researchers and the public alike. The Table Mountain region holds many secrets and mysteries, and perhaps further exploration and analysis will shed new light on this enigmatic area. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Mystery Universe channel for more intriguing mysteries and investigations.